Alright, hi and welcome back to my 7th tutorial on Visual Basics. This time we're actually having some fun with our application, so I'm looking forward to it. We're going to uh, use a new statement, the if, then, else and and if statement. We also have the else if, but we're not uh, using that already, alright? So let's open up Word, press Alt plus F11 and create a new user form. Alright, now what we're going to create this time is um, basically we're uh, creating a little gamble game. So let's say uh, we have a dice and we're going to guess what the dice will be. Okay, so let's rename the user form to FRM uh, dice or gamble, whatever, and create the cap uh, make the caption something uh, like uh, uh, gamble uh, program. Alright, okay, now there are basically uh, a few things we need. We need a button to throw the dice with, yes, so let's create a cmd, cmd throw, uh, a caption which is, uh, let's call it um, throw the dice, okay, now I'll leave the font for it uh, now because I'm sure you already know how to change the font by now, okay, now we need, um, we need a, a text box where we can guess in, so let's call txt guess and we need a label which say uh, guess in here or the guess the, the result okay let's so let's call it lbl guess and let's make the caption something like uh, guess the result okay okay so and then uh, last but not least we need um, a button oh no it's not the last one we need a button to um, uh, show the result if we did it correct and uh, some output so that it gives us a feedback if we had it correct or if we had it wrong okay so let's create another text box where will be uh, let's call it txt txt result and uh, a button for the result itself oh, a button like so cmd result will be the name and let's change the caption to a uh, simple result Okay, of course you can uh, change the font and everything, but now I'm basically going to teach you how to get things done. But uh, because I'm pretty sure you already know that you can change every property of the user form, button, etc., etc. Just uh, check it out sometimes because it's really fun to play around with it. All right, now let's change this though because or else it just would be an ugly program. Okay, now we're going to uh, code the dice this was from before so okay so let's uh, first off we need a global variable every time you dim something here so let's say dim uh, example and we uh, double click on this right over here on the result it will it won't be used example that variable won't be used in uh, this subroutine right over here but what if we need a subroutine that's for every single button, everything in our application. Well, then we just type it above our subroutine in the header. It's called the header. Okay, so let's say uh, something like we have to dim uh, the eyes that are thrown. Uh, the little dots on your dice are called the eyes, I believe. So let's say you throw three on a dice. You have three eyes. So let's dim eyes as integer okay as you can see it has a little gray line right beneath it because it's uh, sort of you created the header okay so this is a global variable and it's used all in all over a program okay so let's say on a uh, throw we're going to say ice is int two brackets six times r on d now you you're probably asking what is R and D well it's basically random so it's going to randomly uh, use a number 1 to 6 um, but that also includes 0 I believe so we have to add a plus 1 to it or else you uh, uh, would have 0 and you can't throw 0 on a real dice okay so I'm not sure if you have to use 5 or 6 here because maybe we can throw 7 now but that doesn't matter Okay, and that's basically uh, everything we need for our throw button, because uh, throwing is just a throw and we uh, actually coded the throw already. 
Okay, so random is also new. It's it's just random. Uh, I'll also go tree down because that's a little bit. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, if you have a very huge script, you have to do that for sure. Okay, now let's declare declare two more va uh, variables. Uh, guess as integer and dim guess s as string so it has three s's at the moment okay that sounds pretty weird it has three s's but you know what i mean this s right over here okay let's so let's say guess s is txt guess dot text which is basically our guess right over here okay now we're going to say guess is um c integer of guess s okay okay now we're going to use our if then and else and if statement so let's say if ice is guess then so we're saying if ice what we throwed right over here equals to our guess so let's say we threw six and our guess was six then and this is what's going to happen. txt result uh, dot text is uh, well uh, or something like correct. You win. All right. But if it n it's not the case, we're going to say else. So if it's not else, then txt uh, result dot uh, dot text is uh, wrong you lose noob okay so now we have to close off our if statement so we're going to say and if all right so i'll go over it one more time because it's a very short tutorial see so let's say um dim ice it's a global variable it's used all over program we assigned ice here but if we don't use uh, this in the header, we uh, placed it right over here, it wouldn't be uh, accessible in this subroutine right over here. Okay, now we're uh, assigning two variables, should be uh, already know what to do. Uh, guess, uh, yeah, this is all familiar. Now only this is the really new part and the random, the random is that you're randomly uh, doing something uh, to the six. Okay, so let's say, txt re uh, this is uh, yeah i don't know it's pretty yeah it's simple i don't really know what to explain about it if ice what we throw in here equals to our guess then use this else use this it's it's simple i don't really know what to explain about it okay so let's try it out press run and let's throw the dice okay so we throw the dice and uh the result is obviously uh if you don't type in something it will uh, give an error but if we type something and we're like um, throw the dice and we're guessing that it's four result correct you win okay this is very lucky because normally i would win okay so it's the dice isn't changed so let's try it with one what if we uh, guessed one wrong you lose wrong you lose wrong you lose five wrong you lose six wrong you lose and four should be all right let's throw the dice again and oh it's four again all right now it's uh, some other number wrong wrong oh uh, it's two so this time it was two so now you can uh, make simple little games for yourself and you uh, should try out uh, some sort of slot machine like using three numbers and if they are all the same by accident um, so let's do uh, one and two so if you have three ones or three twos you win don't use something like seven because that's pretty impossible to get okay so let's say uh one two one two uh let's say uh yeah try that for yourself that's pretty good practice and i'm actually failing up time uh, for my video right now so let's say uh create this for yourself you have to create uh two guesses or no uh no 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 just use some sort of slot machine so you pull a lever or you press a button and uh they have uh they show what number they are in some text box instead of that the, the number is uh, hidden like we did now and if they are three times the same so one 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 or two 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 then you win all right okay so uh, i think you can uh, could try it out you can also uh, because we uh, learned how to add a number 
which was the number uh, last time to count the letters you could also make a label with points so let's say it's zero you could add one point so you have some sort of point system that's pretty awesome to create all right that's my assignment to you try to create that program for now I'll just uh, copy my code uh, of this program which isn't a lot because it's very simple but I'll post it in the description anyway try to get it and try to make the program I uh, assigned to you okay it's a good practice and it's pretty fun if you have it you could brag to your friends like yeah I created a gamble program for noobs okay <laughs> so I'll see you in the next video and uh, thanks for watching bye